The sun may give you a boost of vitamin D and happiness promoting hormones, but too much sun ray can also tire you out even if you are not exerting yourself. There are actually scientific reasons that explain the tired after the sun phenomena that most of us experience. If you have ever felt completely drained after a hot day outside, you might be interested in knowing the science behind why the sun makes you tired and how to prevent sun-induced sleepiness. Head in this video, we will try to know why the too much sunlight makes us feel tired. So let's start out to this video. Why does being in the sun make you tired? The sun is a powerful source of heat and light that triggers a number of changes in the human body. While many of these changes are positive, they can also leave you feeling sleepy. First, body temperature. To keep your body working properly, you need to maintain a core temperature of around 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Like other mammals, humans regulate their inner temperature using a process called thermoregulation, which compensates for fluctuation in the outside temperature. Scientists say that energy from the sun transfer heat to the body through electromagnetic radiation in the form of photons. These radiation cause body temperature to increase. When your body temperature changes more than 0.5 degrees, your body reacts by being sleepy, grump or tired. Will we are out in the sun, our body has to work hard to regulate our body temperature. The higher the outdoor temperature and the bigger the body, the harder our body has to work. Our body naturally works hard. To cool us down and it uses a lot of energy and other resources including sweat. Sweat works to cool the body through vaporization of the water on the skin. This process gets energy from our bodies. Also in high temperature, our heart rate and metabolic system increase making our bodies work much harder. All that individual work makes us feel sleepy and exhausted. Number 2. Dehydration Sweating causes you to lose water and sodium, which can lead to dehydration. Dehydration makes your blood thicker, which interferes with thermoregulation because thickened blood is less able to carry body heat away from your core. The thickened blood is so harder to pump, so it puts extra stain on your heart. With less oxygen being pumped around your body, you will likely feel lethargic. Number 3. Extreme Heat In addition to heat, the sun exposes you to UV rays or ultraviolet rays which can make you feel tired. Too much sun exposure can lead to a sunburn and chronic exposure to the sun can increase the risk of a skin cancer. To protect itself against the sun's UV rays, some scientists suggested that our body produce melatonin, the dark pigment responsible for what is referred to as a tan. Since UV rays damage the skin, your immune system also kicks in to try to protect you against sun exposure. The immune system is typically restored during sleep. So increased work by the immune system can make you feel sleepy. Number 4. Blood Pressure When it gets warm, your blood pressure will drop. For most people this is fine, but if you get headaches and nausea, it's worth going to a doctor. Generally, a slight drop in blood pressure only means that there is less amount of blood reaching your brain. So there is less oxygen going there and your body will therefore get tired as it struggles to the same amount of stuff as usual. Number 5. Less amount of sleep in night Our bodies believe that day is awake and night is for sleeping, but artificial lights and digital devices screens have extended normal wake times well into the night. Spending all day in the sun can trigger changes to your hormones that restore the natural day-night cycle. This sun exposure makes you feel sleepy earlier in the evening. How can you stay alert on sunny days? Maintain your energy in the heat by staying well hydrated and keeping as cool as possible. Some ways to protect yourself from the sun included. First, stay hydrated. The best way to avoid dehydration is by staying hydrated. Bring along a refillable water bottle and know where your closest drinking fountains are. Eat foods that have a high water content such as fruits and vegetables. Remember that all liquid is not equal when it comes to dehydration. For example, liquids such as caffeine, alcohol, sugar and egg salt as these can contribute to dehydration. Number 2. Take breaks When you are engaged in a physical activity outside, it's important not to overextend yourself. Your body is already working harder than normal to maintain your body temperature. Whether you are exercising or working, take more breaks than you would if you were indoors. 
and consider taking it a bit easier on yourself as well. Number 3. Protect yourself. Loose cloths made you breathable fabrics and light colors are best at keeping you cool. Don't forget to bring a sunglasses and hat. Also put on sunscreen and reapply it throughout the day. Number 4. Get enough sleep at night. Sleep deprivation can leave you more vulnerable to heart related illness. So aim for a solid night sleep if you plan on doing a strenuous activity in the sun. Optimizing your bedroom with breathable bedding and a fan or air condition can help you sleep better in warm weather. Children, older people, those with health condition, people taking certain medications and individuals who are sensitive to heat should take extra care on hot Sundays. It's a good idea to familiarize yourself with the signs of heat illness so you can prevent them from becoming worse. If you notice the earlier sign of heat illness, move to a cool place out of the sun, drink fluids and seek medical attention if necessary.